In this video, we are going to cover the best Fortnite settings pros are using for having higher FPS and zero input delay in Fortnite brand new chapter 5 season 2. So guys make sure to watch my this whole video and with wasting any time let's dive straight into it. So guys first of all you need to open up your epic games launcher and open up your epic game settings. After that now scroll down and go for your desktop notification and make sure to turn off your game notification and special offer or news notification. So guys uncheck this box after that scroll all the way down and find out your fortnite. Now click on the drop down check mark on additional command line arguments and simply paste here this command like minus land play minus most flash minus no texture streaming minus use all available code and you will find out this command in the description of my this video simply paste here the same exact command now close out your epic game settings so now in the next step you need to download this pro fps boost method and pro zero delay method on your pc and you can download from official website and also from my discord server once you download these files on your pc now open up this first pro fps boost folder and inside you will find out here these two applications first one is park control setup for creating a best gaming power plan and second is run with affinity for running the fortnite on highest processing power of your cpu so guys open up park control application simply double tap here hit yes hit ok hit i agree next and install this tool on your pc so guys once you install power control on your pc here you will find out this kind of the interface and so now you need to go for your cpu settings and there you will find out bit some highest performance click on the drop down and select out this power plan and click on the make activate for applying this power plan on your windows so now you need to go for your plugin ac and turn off the settings now go for heterogeneous policy and set it on hetero parking now go for short thread and long thread and set it on preferred performance processors if you are using a laptop so guys go for on battery dc mode and guys set the settings on off now go for heterogeneous policy and set it on hetero parking short thread long thread set it on automatic after that apply the settings now go for bit some high performance and guys make sure to install this power plan on your pc otherwise this will not show you this plan now go for bit some dynamic boost enable and show plan settings notification make sure to check mark on these boxes after that hit ok and close out power control now next go for run with affinity.exe file and simply double tap here and open up this application now here in this tool you need to go for select program option and click on the three dots now you need to browse the launcher file of the fortnite from the main directory of the fortnite so guys for that go for this pc open up local league c now go for program file and find out epic games folder go inside it go for fortnite fortnite game folder binary win64 and there you will find out your fortnite client win64 shipping.exe files so click on this file and click open this will automatically detect all the settings of your fortnite now you need to go for your processor section and there you will find out your processor and here is the highest available thread of your cpu so click on the drop down and select the highest number available in this list after that now go for shortcut name and simply type here run with affinity fortnite after that go for this run option click on the drop down and set it on maximized for running the fortnite on highest performance after that click on the create shortcut button and this will create a fortnite shortcut on your desktop now click ok and close out this application and next time whenever you want to play fortnite simply run the fortnite using this launcher file now here in the next step for having zero input delay in fortnite open up this folder that is pro zero delay method double tap and open up this folder next here you will find out filter key setter dot zip file and time resolution so first go for filter key setter 1.0 dot zip file and drag this exe file on your desktop so guys once you open up filter key setter on your pc you will find out here this kind of the interface so now in the very first step you need to go for this flag option click on the turn on after that go for available check mark here now go for confirm activation and check mark on this box and guys uncheck all the rest boxes after that now go for settings of your filter key setter and there you will find out ignore under set it on 0ms repeatedly set it on 250ms 
and repeat weight setting on 25 mf at the end you will find out here this value that is 40.0 per second now after that go for when applied and set it on save to registry and click ok and save the settings now in the next step you will find out here time resolution zip file guys again open up the zip file and drag this exe file of the time resolution on your desktop so guys once you go out here this is kind of the exit file of the timer resolution on your desktop now before launching the fortnite on your pc simply double tap here and open up this application after that click on the maximum button and this application will help you to reducing the input delay of your mouse and keyboard now simply guys click on the minimize and keep this application running in your background while you're playing fortnite on your pc so guys now the final and the last step we are going to do some optimization for our mouse and keyboard so for that go for your windows start icon and open up device manager now you need to go for your keyboard devices in the device manager and click on the drop down now go for your hid keyboard devices right click here go for properties go for power management and make sure guys uncheck this box that is allow the computer to turn off the device to save the power so guys click ok and do the same setting for all these devices now you need to go for your mouse and other pointing devices click on the drop down go for hid compliant mouse again open up properties for this device go for power management and uncheck this box from here now again click ok after that now scroll down and find out system devices and now find out here high precision event timer now right click here and guys make sure to disable this device from your pc because this will help you to optimizing your cpu and on the same time this will also help you to getting the zero input delay out of your mouse and keyboard while you're playing fortnite so once you follow all the settings on your pc now close out with this tool and now you need to one time reset your pc therefore all the changes take effect after that launch your fortnite and enjoy the best performance out of your pc i hope you love it please make sure to share your feedback about this video in the comment section and see you again in the the next video. Move over, buddy, yeah.